Good morning. It is now 8 in the morning. That last clip, I did wake up at 7.15. We've honestly just been on our phones this entire time. Don't listen to the people that tell you, wake up, have some lemon water. Don't go on your phone for first 15 minutes of waking up. If you want to be on your phone to wake up, then do that. Because that's what I do. Yeah, but if you do want to be more productive, I guess, don't be on it for the last 45 minutes. Uh, like me. And if you couldn't tell by the title of this video, it is going to be a day in the life. But New Year edition, because this is not realistic <laughs> at all. Yeah, the last time we woke up early was a week ago, but we were trying to um, have our New Year's re resolution and it hasn't stuck yet. But we're still trying, so here we are. The sun is rose, we are woke, and I guess let's continue with our day. So, got my apple cinnamon oats that are ready to eat. Alex's chia pudding. I farted. <laughs> you cover your face. That's great. There <laughs> you go. When we have been waking up early though, uh, we Bella. <laughs> we wake up. I have my oats because I'm trying to eat more. These are ready to eat. They're not the best, but I've been getting tired of cooking in the morning. I feel like it kind of sets me back, so this is ready to eat. I make her chia pudding the night before, and yeah, it's ready to go in the morning. We've been wanting to wake up earlier, not just because of the new year, but because the sun is only up from seven to four. Once the sun is down, it's just so dark out, and we don't want to do anything else for the rest of the day. So if we wake up early, we have more time to get things done. And we really don't want the winter blues. We're trying here. It's now probably like 8.30. Better than waking up at 12, which we were doing. <laughs> and now we're just gonna finish this and probably be on our phones some more. We spent a little bit too much time in bed today. Now that we, what am I saying? If you don't make your bed in the morning, you're probably gonna end up back in it. Like this girl right here. Don't tell me. So, come on, let's make the bed. I look terrible. Whoever brushes their teeth first, usually it's me that gets up first. Um, I always put toothpaste on our toothbrushes. <laughs> Alex actually got it ready for me. And as for getting ready, we are going to go to the gym before breakfast, so I'm not gonna do much. I just put on this eye cream, then put on a moisturizer. Sometimes I do more. I know we're gonna work out right now. I'm just gonna do this because I'm probably gonna shower after when I come back. And I'm not gonna worry too much about my hair. I just kinda wet it. Right now it's not too bad. I'll probably still put on a hat. It's looking a little too fluffy right now, to be honest. Now to get changed for the gym and then before heading out, of course, have to take Augie out to do his business. I'm trying to get ready, but... <laughs> At some point during the day, she finds a pimple on me that she wants to pop. So this is a day in the life because she's gonna pop this arm pimple that I didn't know I had. And then it makes me so insecure because I'm like, what? Why do I, uh, you may, I didn't notice it until she pointed it out and now it has to pop. So, come on. I just can't believe you're sharing this. Well, you do it every day. <laughs> Yeah, I this is what you were, now you're making me more insecure because now I just told the world. Look at that. It's huge. <laughs> like a whole other arm is gonna grow out. <laughs> Pop it! I'm ready to hurt. It's gonna hurt so bad, I already know. Ah <laughs> Ow! I'm not even squishing it. Ow! Ow! <laughs> you're so Look at this! What? Yep, that is my everyday life. Now for the gym. Okay. For the gym, I'm wearing all K 
chaos culture. <sighs> Got my sweats on. What shoes do we wear? Maybe I'll wear New Balances. And we're ready to go. Oh yeah, I forgot. He's just a little rat boy now. Also, I'm reminded of this pile of laundry, so let me put a load to go. We're ready to go. Take out Augie. Bebe, are you ready? Let's see how flex. This leg is 38. This is it. This is it. 40 and a half. Flexibility is okay. a mindset. Her right leg is a, oh shit. 50. Flexibility really is a mindset. 50 and 42. You need some stretching. <laughs> Put me in a gym with an X Men in the UFC. Can't believe it, can't believe it. I'm in disbelief. Alex is gonna be doing some Pilates. This is a whole ass mirror. It is a mirror that turns. Are you on? Oh, there we go. Into a class. Isn't that crazy? So she's gonna be doing that. And I'm going to be hitting legs because, as you know, I'm insecure about these bad boys. This bitch got me paying the rent. Diamonds on her neck, diamonds on her wrist well, here I am all After alone. that set, I went to go blow my nose And walking back, my legs already feel swollen Because I haven't worked them out in so long but Basically like two workouts And they already feel swollen But it's okay I'm gonna get back in shape And I'm gonna look sexy by summer I'm so cold, I'm so cold You got me smoking up the wind that workout was easier than my usual workouts, but since I haven't done legs in so long, I know I'm gonna be sore tomorrow, but I don't wanna be so sore that when I sit on the toilet, I could barely like bend my legs, that type of sore. I feel it all right now, so I think I did a pretty decent job. So for breakfast lately, usually I would do like a breakfast sandwich, but I've just been so lazy to cook because cooking three meals a day, or almost three meals every single day, gets so tiring and yeah, I just haven't had the motivation to be cooking, cleaning dishes. I felt like I was constantly, it was a constant cycle of that. So I got these from Costco, literally just a breakfast sandwich. Sausage, egg, cheese. And I don't microwave this, I put it in the oven. It takes a little longer, but what you gonna do? And then for Alex, usually she has her little breakfast sandwich. Um, I don't want her to get sick of those. So I have some, I have some leftover chicken tinga that I made the other day, and I'm just gonna put it on a tostada, but to make it breakfast, I just put an egg on top, and she loves it. Alex has also been drinking matcha. I've been making her little matcha lattes because she doesn't want to have too much caffeine. We we have espresso every day. I still am, mostly every day. How have you been enjoying it? Do you feel a difference? Yeah, I feel like I don't get that coffee. Jitters? Yeah. No coffee anxiety, which I'm going to be crippling in anxiety anyway, so <laughs> might as well enjoy it with some coffee. My lady, mm. and your matcha. That is the best thing in the world. Someone tell her to wipe me up already. I need to watch something while I eat. So right now we're currently watching Ginny and Georgia. Even though it's very cringy, uh, sometimes I <laughs> enjoy watching those shows. How is it? Oh. <laughs> I don't know how she does it. I feel like everything's normal. As for my coffee in the morning, I've been liking having it after my breakfast. There's my nice coffee. 12 o'clock. Usually we be waking up at this time. Well, getting out of bed at this time. 
And then we'd only have four hours of sunlight yet left. Ugh. What do I mess up? <laughs> My words. Probably only like two hours because once we get up, we still take a long time to get ready. Finally do something. That's how our days were, but not anymore. Now we got a lot of things accomplished. At 12, we have the rest of the day. So we're gonna take Augie to the dog park. And then I really, really, really wanna go to Trader Joe's because since living here, we've only gone a couple times, but the last time I fell even more in love with it because I found so many good items and I'll share with you guys, I guess I won't gatekeep, but let's go. <laughs> The dog park was a little bit of a fail just because there, there's a lot of the big dogs playing a little too rough. Augie was actually a little intimidated. I'm glad it's not windy though, but it is a little on the chilly side. Not Nothing bad. And now we're trying to see where I can take a photo just so I can show off my Chaos Culture Fit, put it on the gram. I took some pictures and I finally got my computer. As you know, computer wasn't doing too well. But now I finally got my new one. So, no more excuses for me. I was making that excuse for a while because it was a little hard to get um, some videos done sometimes. Now I have no excuse. But I'm gonna check out these pictures and we'll try and figure out if they're good enough for Instagram. I was gonna take a shower, but I think I'm gonna wait till we come back from Trader Joe's because I just wanna be in my filth, I guess. I'm just feeling lazy. That's just how I'm feeling right now. Please don't judge me. I get a lot of questions on my TikTok about my skin and my makeup routine, which I have posted here and there. Um, but I haven't done like an updated thing in a while, so I'm just gonna give a quick rundown of my skincare slash makeup. A lot of my skincare has to also do with my makeup because I use a lot of skincare-ish makeup products. I make this like little concoction of skin tint, I guess you would say. Sunscreen, some of these drops from Drunk Elephant. LMS Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer, these Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint Drops, but this has SPF as well, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, good skincare ingredients in my makeup, so I feel like that has a lot to do with my skincare, and then mix it together, rub it in like it were moisturizer, and that is like the foundation of my uh, makeup. I love this concealer. Put a little bit. Gel my eyebrows. Maybelline concealer. Blend it out a little bit. I don't twist more concealer on. And then I finish it off. Really blending it. Blush and bronzer. Highlight. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys want a full tutorial, I could do that, but... Other than that, that's pretty much it. And there we have it. Feeling good, looking pretty. I have my cute little backpack. Shout out to my sister. She always comments on my videos saying, why don't you shout me out and tell everyone that I got it for you. Here's your shout out. <laughs> Thank you for this bag. It's my great bag. <laughs> I hope it's not too windy. You know, we don't walk every day. We don't have a car here, so pretty much every wherever we need to go, we're either walking or taking the bus. We've been taking the bus way more than the train recently. Yeah, we don't walk every, somewhere every day, but pretty much for the most part. Although I really do miss driving, I just couldn't imagine driving here because everything is so close proximity that it would take even longer to find a parking spot but i definitely do still miss it what about you do you miss being in the car yeah because i would just take naps <laughs> yeah that's true she was just my passenger princess this is what we came here for and this is what we did not need but we're leaving with 
It is a Sunday, so it is so packed the house. And I have my reusable bags. I forgot them last time and I was a little bit embarrassed. But let's see how much it comes out to. Everything came out to $79. A lot of stuff is frozen stuff. It'll last us a good while. As you can see there, it right? Should we walk? How do you? Last time we got a lift back. But I think we just needed to take the walk. Because it's still, the sun is out. Not that cold. Let's just lug this, all this thing. Don't want to get ahead of myself Feeling things I've never felt It's kind of hard for me to explain Her personality and everything Super quick Trader Joe's haul We got the cheese Flower tortillas, but I got the home style for me and since Alex is gluten free, she has the almond flour. And these are honestly super good. I got two things of the chicken shawarma. These are so good. It was almost sold out. I don't know if they had more in the back, but people are catching on. That's good. We've been having this every night. Alex wanted to try this winter wake up tea. Apples, green bell pepper one. The best Greek yogurt ever. Alex is also obsessed with Nutella, so she put this in the cart. Some hash browns because everyone on TikTok talks about these and I've never tried it, so. Two things of this uh, bifa soup, then some bedia. And then I didn't know about this pasta, but it has 30 grams of protein. And the last time we went to Trader Joe's, I saw this girl put these in her cart last minute. They're by the register. I'm like, hmm, is she onto something? So I tried it and they're actually really good. So got some more. And that is what we got from Trader Joe's. Even though this is the day in the life and we don't go grocery shopping every day, I do do, I do do, I do try to do, make a TikTok and upload a TikTok at least once a day. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do right now. Try to get it started before the sun goes down. It's gonna be four o'clock, so I have like 30 minutes. But I'm gonna do my chipotle quesadilla recipe. But I'm gonna do it with the chicken instead of steak, because I'm not really a steak girly. If you want to know the recipe, link is in the description. Oh my goodness, I just finished with the TikTok, exceeded my expectations. It is so good. Look at this juiciness. Do not mind my crazy hot hair. It is only 5.30 and this is how dark it is outside. Now you can see why. It is so dark and that's why we need to start waking up earlier. But I feel like I've been, well I have been, filming all day long. So I'm gonna take a quick break because honestly I don't know what else I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. Relax a little and then I'll see you in a couple hours. It is now 7.43. I have done nothing but clean up a little bit, fold a little bit of laundry and just sit down on the couch and watch some TV. Around this time is when we have to take out Augie to the restroom again. Alex doesn't want to go because she's tired and she just had her sleepy time tea but I just had hot chocolate that made me sharp. Oops, not gonna lie. I totally forgot about you guys. It is now 11 o'clock but all I was, oh my god, my mind. I'm getting old. Really all that I was doing was emailing this entire time. I was just on my laptop. But before bed, oh my God. Before bed, I tried to have the kitchen cleaned for the morning. I just put the dishwasher to start. Trash is empty. I did do some laundry today. But a nighttime routine really sets you up for the next day. As important as waking up early and getting your day started and trying to be productive, to do that as best as you can, you have to have a really good nighttime routine. Start winding down at a good time. Start getting yourself tired. Make sure some food is prepped, like Alex's chia pudding for the morning. I have to make sure, or overnight oats. I have to make sure that that's ready and just making sure that everything is clean enough to where you don't wake up and have anxiety about 
the place being a mess. Also for me, that means putting my laptop to charge, putting this camera to charge, and just having my electronics ready to go. Tomorrow we're gonna just try to get a whole bunch of work done, go to a coffee shop, stay focused, just make sure that your nighttime routine and preparation is good for the next day. Now, I need to wash my face, get my skincare going. Yes, sir. Making sure our door's locked. Turn off the lights. My laptop to charge. Also gonna put my phone to charge. I already have it on sleep mode, making sure it wakes me up seven in the morning. I've been leaving in the kitchen so that I actually have to get my ass up out of bed, get my phone, and then I crawl back into bed, but at least I got up, physically got up, and that kind of wakes me up a little bit better. One more thing, when I went to go get my new laptop, I had an awesome Apple specialist. He was super cool, we exchanged Instagrams, and he is a singer. I'll put his Instagram info right here. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for covers, but I'm gonna try and put his covers in this YouTube video, so if I did, I'll put yes I did or no I did it right here. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try and put his covers in this video. So if you've been hearing some music throughout, that was him. And yeah, I just want you guys to go show him some love because, oh my God, he's so talented. Smart as he is, he's an Apple spell special, special, God damn. He's an Apple specialist. You gotta be kinda smart to work there. But he wants to be a singer full time instead of that, so. I don't think I can make his dreams come true, but you never know. So uh, go check him out if you're interested in music. He has covers of all different genres. And yeah, I just wanted to give him a little shout out because he's my new friend. I just said, I'm gonna turn off these lights and go to sleep. Look at that beautiful city in the back. Oh, I'm so grateful. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, thank you for supporting me and so blessed to have many days like this. I want to be here without you guys. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I love you so much and I will see you in the next video.